Hey, good morning, family. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. All right, listen, I love you guys, and um, I am uh, going to share this. This one will probably be pretty quick, and I'm going to read from Mark chapter 4. So this one, I'm calling it, I'm only going to tell you this a hundred more times. All right, so um, this one, Mark chapter 4, verses 23, 24. And 25 okay mark chapter 4 Jesus says this if anyone has ears to hear let him hear so he's talking to people so obviously they have these things with them so he's not saying if you have this listen right he's saying if you have ears spiritual ears hear what I'm saying to you then he said to them take heed what you hear with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you, and to you who hear, more will be given. For whoever has, to him more will be given, but whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Okay, so, I'm only going to tell you this a hundred more times. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, um, you know, as a parent, you tell your kids, I'm only going to tell you this one more time. And then, the, on the 35th time that you say, I'm only going to tell you this one more time, the kids realize you're not serious about what you're saying. So I'm telling you up front, I'm only going to tell you this a hundred more times because this is really important. This is so very important. You really, really need to get this. Okay. So take heed what you hear. All right. I talk about this with my Wednesday night guys. I don't care what news you listen to. Take heed what you hear. I don't care if it's Fox. I don't care if it's CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS. I don't care what news you listen to. I don't care if it's, um, you know, Facebook, um, YouTube, like I'm doing right now. Take heed what you hear. Okay. Um, so Jesus, before that, says the sower sows the word. And so that's where he's getting down to this. And he says, you got to get the word. So I've talked about this at least four times. Um, and so I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to keep saying it until you get it, until you understand. Take heed what you hear. When you fill yourself up with the news that the world wants you to hear, I don't care what world it is. It's all the world. Satan is the God, the, the God of this world, the prince of the power of the air. Whatever news you hear, it is sent to you with a design purpose to create fear. That's the only reason why there's news out there is to create fear. Fox wants you to be afraid of the radical left and CNN wants you to be afraid of Donald Trump and his right wing agenda and everybody wants you to be afraid except God. God said when Jesus was born, peace on earth, goodwill toward men, what he meant was there's no longer that separation, that dividing between God and man. Jesus came to, to bridge that gap. So now we have the ability to have that relationship with the Father. And he wants us to have that relationship with the Father. And in him is righteousness, peace, and joy. Right? In the news, there's fear. I don't care which news you listen to. It's fear. I don't care what you're getting fed. Other than the word of God, it's fear. It's going to cause you to hate this one. It's going to ha cause you to be afraid of that one. It's fear. God's word gives you joy and gives you peace. That's what you have to get in abundance so that when you come across somebody that you don't like, you can respond with love because love conquers all. All right. So I'm only going to tell you this a hundred more times. Get the word in you more than you get the world in you. Mm, that's good. That would preach. All right. Get the word in you more than you get the world in you. Get the word in you more than you get the world in you. And you get the word, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 24. It says, my son, attend to my word. Give ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. You have to actually get the word, read it, say it, hear it, right? We, we did this one, remember? All right, see it, say it, hear it, plant it. You have to do it. You have to do it, though. You got to do it. All right, I love you guys. Have a great day.